So after you've had an opportunity to find out what your hourly rate is and you have a good sample size, then you'll know, then you can have a better idea if you're going to make it as a professional poker player. The next question you have to ask is, what's my monthly nut? How much does it cost for me to live each month? You also want to factor in savings and taxes and also random expenses are going to be coming up. So whatever number you come up with, probably double that monthly nut and if you don't think you can make that playing poker, it's probably not for you. I'm going to be quite honest guys. I think pretty much anybody watching this video at this point still, probably not for you. Um, if you've never paid for coaching yet, if you haven't bought a poker book yet, if you don't have a poker membership yet, I mean it's going to be tough for you to make it. There's a lot of really good people out there spending lots and lots of time perfecting their art, their game of poker. So it's not easy, but if you can do it, more power to you because it is a good life. I've met a lot of great people traveling and playing poker all over the world. I have friends in London, in Toronto, all over the country here in America, and it's great. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm so happy that for seven years of my life, that's what I did, and right now I'm just kind of hanging out until poker comes back to the USA, guys. But if you have any other questions, um, anything I didn't cover, just let me know. Put them in the comments below. I'll be sure to, to monitor this and, and try to respond to people and help you guys out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, there's there's not really much else on the top of my mind. I know this isn't a great video that covers every facet of whether or not you should go pro, because honestly, that could be a full book. That could be a giant three-hour lecture on all the different things you should consider. But, I mean, the main ones are, I mean, how much do you make per hour and how much do you need to spend each month? Because if it works out, it works out, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, depending on how good of a fallback plan you have, I mean, maybe go for it. If you don't think you're giving up anything by, by trying this out, then do it. But treat it like a job. Don't treat it like you're retired yet. You need to, you need to wake up. It doesn't matter if you wake up at 7 a.m. or 11 a.m., but you need to have a good diet. You need to exercise. You need to take care of your health, your mind and your body. Otherwise, you won't last in poker. And that's actually some of the advice I first got. I was down in PCA. Man, it must have been in 2006, 2007, something, something around there. And there is one of these old live pros. And someone asked, what's the one piece of advice you'd give? Because he was telling us how he had done it for 45 years. And he said, you got to keep exercising. And at the time, I was, I was young. I was 18, 19. I had played competitive soccer. I was in great shape. And it wouldn't be until about two or three years later, until I got more lazy and kind of fell off um, playing sports competitively did I realize how true those words were. I know a lot of my friends that are successful, um, they take care of their body, they take care of their health, they they aren't out there just, just being crazy all the time. I mean, they live a good lifestyle, they know how to party, have a great time, but they also know how to be serious and, and they're good with their money at poker tables, otherwise they wouldn't have any left right now. So, hope you guys liked it. I will do my best to upload videos more and more as we're getting closer to the World Series. I'm getting in my poker frame, trying to get everything set up so I can be out there and play as many tournaments as possible. Still haven't figured out where I'm going to live yet for the summer, but most likely it'll be a friend's house off the strip somewhere. Try to avoid the strip at all costs. I'm just not a big fan of walking through casinos. Just temptation. Um, temptation to gamble, temptation to drink, things like that. And, I don't have too hard of a time. I don't have many vices, and obviously that's another thing to consider. Being around those things, how are they going to affect you? If you can't walk by a slot machine and not put some money in there, or walk by a roulette table, or blackjack, or craps table without putting some money down, or if you have a really bad drinking problem and you just go crazy gambling, chances are you need to just stay away from this type of thing because there are a lot of temptations, and even some people that are are very straight edge, if you will. Um, you see them kind of stray off the, the path here and there, and I don't think that's necessarily a terrible thing. I think people should experience different things in their lives, but you need to be careful when you're a poker player with what you get into. But I'm rambling now. I'll let you guys go again. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. See ya.